Hi everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson. This week, we are traveling back in time before humans inhabited the earth and great creatures roamed on the land we now stand on. I'm of course talking about the amazing prehistoric animals, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were lizard-like reptiles that lived on earth for more than 150 million years. Some of them were the largest and scariest creatures to ever walk on land. Luckily, the last dinosaurs became extinct about 65 and a half million years ago. And we know this from dinosaur remains called fossils that have been preserved in rock underground. From studying these fossils, scientists know that dinosaurs are ancient cousins of today's crocodiles, snakes, lizards, and it's even thought that they may be descendants of birds. So for our project today, we're going to be drawing our own dazzling dinosaurs. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper. You're also going to need a pencil to sketch your dinosaur. And then you're going to need something to color with. So either markers, crayons, or colored pencils, whichever ones you prefer. I think I'm gonna use markers today. Uh, I like the bold, bright colors, but it is up to you. Now, there are so many different kinds of dinosaurs, but I'm going to lead you through how to draw three different kinds. So you get the choice of which dino you want to draw today. A lot of them have similar steps, but they each look slightly differently and have some different characteristics. So I'm going to be showing all three of these dinosaurs. You can skip through to your favorite one if you'd like. First, I'm gonna start with the um, Brachiosaurus, also called the long neck. I'll be showing how to draw the Stegosaurus and the Triceratops. So again, you only have to draw one of these dinos today, but I'm gonna draw all three. Um, so follow along with your favorite one. Our first dinosaur that we're gonna start out with is the Brachiosaurus, or also called the long neck. So go ahead and get out your piece of paper if you'd like to draw the long neck, and then also your pencil. So how we are gonna start with our dinosaur is we're gonna start with the body. And we're gonna draw kind of a big arch in the middle here. And that's gonna be kind of the main body of our um, brachiosaurus, our long neck there. So draw kind of a half circle, almost like a C. And now they're called the long necks because they have super long necks, of course. They kind of remind me of modern day uh, giraffes that we see at the zoo. They even kind of act like giraffes where they only eat um, plants, so they're vegetarian dinosaurs, um, which is kind of cool and it kind of makes you think, um, how did giraffes come to be? Are they somehow related to long necks? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from our body here and we're gonna create our neck. So we're gonna do kind of a curved line. We're gonna go down and then we're gonna come up and kind of come up to the top here. So we've got a long curved line up for our neck. And then we're gonna make our um, head. So our head is gonna be kind of round, maybe a little bit bigger here. Kind of like to draw almost like a forehead and then down for the um, mouth there. And we're gonna come around and then we're gonna kind of start almost like a snake where we're gonna come back to this neck and kind of come down this way. And we're gonna make it a little bigger here. And kind of stop it like that. Now, as we come down here, I kind of created a little lip for his neck. And we need to um, make our um, feet. So let's start by doing um, kind of a foot in front. So I do a little 
kind of curve line here that's going to come down and then go into kind of like a foot there. And then we're going to come back up towards the body. And if you want to add some claws or something like that, you can. Dino feet. I don't know if these ones had claws. I think I'm gonna just put maybe some lines like this. There we go. And uh, now we're gonna create the rest of our belly. So let's do our belly kind of down past our, our foot there. Come along for our body. And then we're gonna add our back foot. So our back foot is gonna kind of be like our front foot. So we're gonna do kind of a big knee here and then come down into our foot. And then kind of go back up. And I like to use pencil so I can erase if I overlap my lines a little bit. But there we go. So we've got our legs here. And now we need to go up into our tail. So our tail can kind of be straight out or I like to make my tail kind of wavy, kind of like this. And then I'll combine that to my body. So you can kind of make your tail go any which way. If you want it to be maybe a little curvier, you can. I'm gonna have mine just kind of go straight up like that. Maybe I, I might want to make mine a little bit more flippy on the end. And you can always do that. Sometimes we rethink our designs. We go, oh, I want it to be a little more curved maybe. And that's okay. Voila, all right, great. So if you want to add more legs, I know dinos have at least four legs, but if you wanted to add another leg, uh, maybe here or back here, you can. Um, if you wanna make sure it looks like they have four legs, that's totally fine. I think I'm gonna, uh, maybe I'll add one here, just kind of a foot coming down. See how that looks. Having another leg there. Maybe here too, we'll add another little kind of boot. So that looks like they have four legs. Um, so now it comes the really fun part. We get to start decorating our dinosaurs. So we wanna make them really dazzling. So think about different patterns or designs you can put on your dinosaur um, and start to add those in. So I'm gonna draw my eyeball, I think first, and maybe a smile. Maybe like a little nostril too. Um, and then I'm gonna start thinking about what kind of designs I want to do. Um, maybe I want my dino to have stripes. Maybe I want them to have polka dots. Um, it's kind of up to you. I think I wanna do my dino with like a different colored belly maybe. Something like that. Maybe their tail might have like a different color on it as well. Um, I might do some stripes kind of like this. Or maybe I want them pointed like a tiger. I'm not quite sure yet. But I wanna fill up this body space with something kind of interesting. There we go. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll have it go all the way down, up the tail. Beautiful. I like my dino. And after you finish your design on your dino, you can always do a background. So think about where your dinosaur might be. What did the earth look like when dinosaurs were there? 
I know when we think of dinosaurs, lots of times we think of mountains um, and uh, volcanoes. We also might think of big, tall trees. I might make my dino just kind of on some grass. But we can always put birds in the background maybe or something like that um, if that is interesting to you. I think I might put little grass here and maybe I'll put some trees in the background. Since um, long necks love trees. Put some kind of tropical trees in the background. make my long neck look really tall. Something like that. All right, and there we have our long neck or brachiosaurus. So I'm gonna move, before I color my dinosaur, I'm gonna move on to the next drawing. So if you want to see the next dinosaur, which is gonna be a stegosaurus, um, you can stay on this video. But if you uh, are done with your long neck and want to color it, go for it. Um, I'm gonna color mine all the end at the end and show you what they all look like together. Um, so if you want to do the stegosaurus, stay tuned. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna be showing how to draw a stegosaurus. So the stegosaurus is really well known for its large spikes on the back of its um, spine. And they were huge and they kind of stuck up and um, helped the dinosaur defend itself from larger predators. Protection. So we're gonna start on our stegosaurus and you're gonna need a piece of paper and your pencil. So we're gonna start out um, kind of like how we started with our um, bronchiosaurus or our um, long neck here. And we're going to maybe not do as high of an arch, but we're gonna do kind of a sloped kind of a, um, um, curve there. So this is gonna be the back of our stegosaurus. So we wanna make a nice big curve for our stegosaurus there. And once we have this curve, we're gonna go into the neck. So the neck is gonna kinda of come out this way. So the stegosaurus was very low to the ground, especially its head. So we'll do kind of a long neck and then we're gonna do um, the head of our um, stegosaurus. So it's gonna be kinda, of, I like to do my heads kinda of like this but you can do maybe just a round head if you'd like. That's totally fine too. If you just wanna do kind of a rounded head. I'm kind of adding a little curve into mine. Oh, there, that's better. And then we're going to continue kind of back with our neck here. So he kind of got a thick neck. He kind of, right now, he kind of looks like a slug or maybe even a turtle. Um, and then we're gonna add our legs. So our uh, legs, we're gonna do kind of like a, um, kind of like a big leg here and then it's gonna come down into a foot. And then we're gonna continue our belly uh, kind of this way. So we're gonna continue our big belly like that. So it does look a lot like a turtle um, before we add the tail. But I promise you won't look like a turtle. And then we're gonna do a much bigger leg in the back. So let's do kind of a bigger leg here and it's gonna come around and do a foot kind of like the first one. So we're gonna have kind of an up higher leg there and then come up with our leg. I like doing this in pencil so I can erase and kind of do my lines kind of sketchy like. But there we go. So we've got there and our last part we're gonna do is our tail. So let's start from this curve of our back here and let's do our tail kind of going down slope like a slide. 
And then we're gonna come back and loop that tail back to our leg there. And that is our basic shape of our stegosaurus. If you wanna make, maybe you uh, feel like, oh, I want the back to be a little bit bigger, you can always round it out a little bit more and make it bigger. If you'd like, um, you can always edit your drawings at any point um, during this video. So our um, last step is to add those big spikes on our stegosaurus. So I'm gonna start at my tail and kind of do some small ones. And then as I get farther up the back, I'm gonna make my spikes a little bigger. And I'm doing my spikes round, but if you wanna do yours like uh, pointed or um, like sharp, you can do that. That's totally awesome. But mine is gonna have more like flower petal kind of spikes. And I might go a little bit more over here. And there we go. So there's my stegosaurus so far. I'm gonna go ahead and add my eye and my mouth and then I'll be pretty much done. Maybe I'll do like a no little nose. Ta-da, very cute. I love him. So after you get your stegosaurus done, you can start to add to your background. So um, depending on what you want for your background, um, think about what dinosaurs would be doing or where they might be. Um, sometimes I like to think about um, like what types of plants or um, scenery might be behind them. I always think of volcanoes when I think of um, of uh, dinosaurs, but also maybe there might be birds in the background or clouds. Um, so design your landscape behind your dinosaur however you would like. Um, I think I might do some kind of birds in the back here that are like flying around. Maybe I'll do like a sunshine, it might be bright out. Maybe it'll be like the desert. We'll do lots of little dots for the ground. But maybe I'll do some plants too. Something like that, that looks pretty good. Roaming around there. If you wanted to add another leg, cause I know it only looks like our stegosaurus has two legs, you can always add one kind of next to the foot that you have, if you like that. Um, you can kind of add it kind of behind your other foot. Um, it doesn't really bother me very much um, to just have two legs, but you could also try and draw like a foot out like this or something like that. Um, kind of depends what you're um, thinking and you can do like another one behind here, kind of add like another foot or boot kind of thing. Um, I might keep my little like venturing foot Maybe um, that kind of looks cute. Maybe it looks kind of weird. Um, but uh, there we go. So there's our stegosaurus. Um, maybe I might actually, I kind of like the, maybe I will erase it. I kind of like the, I kind of just like the two legs. I think it, makes it a little confusing with the extra lace. He's so low to the ground, or she. Um, but there we go. So our stegosaurus there. Um, and uh, I'm gonna wait to color. So you can color your stegosaurus if you finish your drawing. That's totally great. I'm going to finish color all my dinosaurs at the end. So the next dinosaur I'm gonna show is coming up. So you can either continue on this one or if you wanna learn how to draw a different dinosaur, you can continue watching this video. Okay, we are on to our final dinosaur for this video. So the final dinosaur I'm gonna be walking through how to draw is the Triceratops. And the Triceratops is really well known for its big, kind of like shell-like um, uh, head and it's really big horns. So it almost looks like a rhinoceros with some big horns on top. So I'm gonna be leading you through how to draw a Triceratops if you're interested. So you're gonna need a piece of paper and your pencil. 
And um, these Triceratops are gonna be, kind of start out a lot like the Stegosaurus and Bronchiosaurus. We're gonna wanna draw a, uh, kind of like a big uh, hump or C, kind of a hill in the middle of our picture here. And that's gonna be the back of our dinosaur. And um, we've been kind of starting with the heads with our other dinosaur, but here let's go into our tail. So our tail is going to be pretty much sloped down from that line there. Oh, lots of sketchy lines. I'm sorry if that's confusing. So we're going to one line coming down to our tail there. And then we're going to bring our tail up kind of this way. So let's do our tail first, just to kind of see how it goes on that side. I think it's easier to kind of go down the slope all the way when you've done the back. And then we're gonna do our head. So we're gonna do go to the other side and do our head. So like I said, Triceratops kind of have these big, almost like domes. They look like, well, I guess not domes, but they kind of look like fans or like some sort of headdress, which um, is really pretty and kind of an interesting shape. So how we're gonna do the head here is we're gonna kind of draw a, kind of like a curved up maybe. And then we're gonna go kind of straight down here and into our head. So it's gonna come down and then we're gonna kind of create our head shape. If that makes sense. So you can always do this rounded. I might come down a little bit more like this. Have it like that. And for this Triceratops, we're gonna bring this line down a little bit more because we want it to kind of come over their head here. And we're gonna try and make their head kind of square looking because they kind of have these blocky heads, kind of like this. And from that, we are going to come down into our um, legs here. So let's come down and we're gonna draw our leg. And I might draw my foot maybe a little bit different than I did the other ones. I might do it kind of blocky. If you want to do a little foot, you can. Something like that. And then since we have our tail done already, let's do our back leg, which is going to be kind of similar. It's going to be kind of like a big block. And I kind of like the kind of boot kind of look. And then we're just going to attach our belly here at the bottom between our legs. And that's kind of our basic um, Triceratops look. If you want to make the back a little bit bigger, maybe you want to make the back a little bit bigger. Maybe you want to make the tail come down a little bit more. Um, you can always edit your drawing and it really doesn't need to look exactly like mine. Um, this is just a guide for you to kind of help you get the shapes. So once we have our Triceratops, I might do my other feet maybe behind it. We can start to add some of our other details like uh, um, our horns. So they have kind of these big horn, like horns that come off of them. So they have a big horn kind of on the front like a um, rhino. And I'm gonna put my nostril right there. They also have some big horns kind of going out here. So maybe I'll do uh, a couple horns. Maybe I'll do one kind of coming from here and then maybe one like that way, kind of behind it. Kind of behind the head almost. And then we can put our eye, and I'm gonna put my mouth. 
And if you wanna add anything to your triceratops, like the, um, you know, you can add something like this maybe. But now we can start to add some of our designs. So I tried adding um, a little bit of a break between the horns there. Um, I think I might change the direction of my nostril. Maybe I'll do it like a shape like that. There we go. Very cute, I love it. Um, so any other kind of designs you want to put on your Triceratops, feel free. Stripes, dots, um, pat, any kind of pattern you like. I'm probably going to do some, maybe some big dots on here. I kind of like the um, dot look. You can do some big ones and some small ones. I like that. And then let's go ahead and add our background. So where's our Triceratops going to be? Is he going to be um, on top of mountains? Are they going to be next to the water? Um, it's kind of up to you. So I'm going to draw my ground and then maybe I'll draw some mountains in the background. I kind of like the the mountain uh, look. Maybe it's it'll be, um, maybe there'll be like a volcano behind them. Who knows? Um, we'll see what I come up with, but I kind of like this. But there we go. So I have my Triceratops all done. I really like how this one turned out. Um, I definitely feel like the Triceratops was a little bit harder. I think just because the face had so much detail in it and you kind of had to figure out where the horns went. But um, I love this dinosaur. I am super excited to color my dinosaurs. So once you're finished with your drawing, feel free to color um, your dinosaur, your picture. Um, I'm going to color all three of my dinosaurs and then I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. All right, everyone. So I finished coloring my dinosaurs. Here's my long neck, my stegosaurus, and my triceratops. So thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed this activity and love learning how to draw these different um, beautiful creatures. Um, I hope you had fun and love your dazzling dinosaurs. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.